Wow! Hey, baby! Right. Ah! We are leaving this place. It looks like it's the middle of the night. It's not. It's like half 11. 11.43. But there is a bit of a thunderstorm happening. We have to walk outside with our bags and hang around in a thunderstorm. That's great. So now it's pouring with rain and we have to walk with our bags. Uh-oh. What are we gonna do? It was threatening to rain and now that we have to leave in about 10 minutes, it's going for it. They're all walking around without like jackets and stuff. Maybe mm. it's not so bad. Bye bye little apartment. Bye. So dark. Yeah. Bye bye. It's nice, it's such a cute little place. Mm. But we're off now. We're off to. See the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. So luckily I looked at the weather forecast before we left and I did bring an umbrella. We have low battery, oh no. What? Yeah. Oh. Um, I'm also wearing my white shoes. Maybe that wasn't a good idea in the rain. <laughs> ah. Okay, so we just dropped our luggage off. So I'm trying not to get the camera wet. And we dropped it off at the Trindade, Trindade Metro. Metro station. They have lockers and it was very cheap, so and very easy. And now we're gonna go get food and get out the rain. Ah! Alex! Okay, so we've come to this place called Hand Go that one of you guys recommended. Um, you told me that they had vegan pizzas and vegan crepes as well as the crepes are gluten-free and they have sweet crepes. They have like chocolate crepes and mango crepes and banana crepes as well as um, savory ones. Um, they have like a vegetarian one with vegan cheese and that's so cool and Alex is getting the vegan pizza. I'm really excited for it. It doesn't have much seating. We kind of didn't realise, but not the best when it's raining outside. Pizza has arrived. It smells good. Dig in. I wish I could have a pizza. <laughs> mm. Really good. Okay, I'm back at the train station. Alex and I left one of our water bottles in that pizza place, the hand go place. I think it's because we swapped seats and we didn't realize that we'd left it there, whatever. Um, so, so he went back to go get the water bottle and I've come here to collect our luggage because I think it like pops open after two hours unless you tell it to be there for 12 hours. So um, I've got the luggage. I'm just waiting for Alex now and then we can go to our next um, apartment and go check it out. It's a quite a big apartment I think because there's there was eight of us and I think there's only seven of us because one person couldn't make it but there's yeah it's a nice big apartment I think it's really central and quite near to here and I'm really excited to see it because it's never quite the same as it is on when you see it in photos in real life so yeah and also I'm kind of looking forward to getting out the rain it's I feel like if you're a tourist in the rain it makes everything a little bit more difficult. It makes everything a little bit more difficult because, um, especially because we're waiting on our bags. Also because our friends aren't here yet, we don't want to do too much touristy stuff and then have to do it again or, you know, not be able to do it because we've already done it. There was this bookshop that a lot of you guys said we should go to called Lello's. We walked past it and we thought, you know what, we should probably save that for when everybody's here. And um, yeah, there's lots of things like that that we didn't want to do until everyone had arrived, so. We'll probably just have a chill out afternoon and do a bit of work and stuff. And I'll just, I'll sit and wait for Al to get here. <laughs> Where are you off to then? You took ages. It's further than you think. Mm. It's all your fault. Why? <laughs> right, let's get to the next place. It is a bit later. Maddie had a semi nap, didn't you? It is. She's just washing our, uh, what's the word? Canvas bags. Canvas bags, because we had loads of strawberries in them and it no, kind of stained them. It's everywhere. Yeah. 
The rain has kind of abated. You can sort of see the drops there. I didn't really do any work in the meantime. But we both needed the rest. It's okay because I'm on holiday. Yeah. And, and we have also nice have to wait this evening for Kia and Alex to get here. They arrive at midnight, so yeah. and uh, always I think. Do they, it, they arrive here at midnight or arrive at the airport? Do you know? Here, she said, but I think that okay. always things tend to run slow and delayed, yeah. so it's likely it will be a bit late for us, so we can spend the evening doing work and stuff. We can That's edit fine. the videos. Yes. And um, maybe we can have a nap and then wake up or something, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna go get some um, basics. Groceries. Hopefully they sell soy milk, I'm not counting on it. Depends, I think like a, a proper chain supermarket might, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure if a local place no. near here would. But there's two along the street, yeah. um, so we can look at both of them and get some like crisps, maybe some sweets, maybe some fruit, and some snacky food. gallon of red wine. And maybe some red wine, I think it'd be good to get some red wine. The only thing is I don't know what is vegan and what isn't. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Maybe because, I can tell me to ask my story. Well, uh, I looked on Barnivore and stuff. I know that, like, brands, I can tell, but when it's like... I'll ask. I'll ask the wines. But when all the wine's like one or two euros, I don't really know how to search for that. I'll ask on my Instagram. Yeah. That's the best place of all the info. All right, Maddie asked on Instagram. Maybe we'll get answers. I know that um, the Taylor's one, the really famous one is, but I don't want to come all the way to Portugal to get wine that I can buy in Tesco. Aww. But it's not that big a deal. I'm sure what some of them will be. We'll, yeah. They'll let us know. We'll find out. We'll this find is out. the best thing, honestly. I am so, so happy that I am on social media and that everywhere I go, or everywhere we go, people recommend us and are so kind and thoughtful. Like I um, asked for recommendations on Portugal, thinking that maybe one or two people would be from here. There were so many <laughs> of you who messaged and who sent me messages, commented, and let me know, and let us know about recommendations for places to eat, places to see. I was so shocked that so many people lived in either Portugal, Lisbon, or Porto, mm. and um, it's just the best thing ever, and it really makes our trips and our travels. It's happened in the past when we've traveled, and we just like put a little message out, and then suddenly you've got your day set, so I'm sure in, due, in due time we'll have lots of messages telling us yeah. the information that we need. I know that the beer is... Well, at least the, okay. the Sagresh and the Superbock is, yeah. which is good enough for me. But. It's kind of like having um, friends locally, like everywhere you go, because I always yeah. think it's so much nicer whenever I travel and I have a friend who lives where I'm traveling to. So it's kind of like having that. Mm. I kind of want to do a meetup. Loads of people have been messaging about a meetup. In Porto? Uh, yeah. Oh. I mean, I, I, I guess I'll ask the, the guys when they get here if they want to do a meetup. Okay. Could be fun. Bring vegan wine. <laughs> this is our little corridor. Huh? It's like that's like that in the bathroom, that glass. It's glass. like the what? That has that like ceiling in the bathroom. What does? That kind of glass ceiling. Yeah. But it's got like it's kind of like moved over. There's like a hole in it. So oh like, yeah. People can see into you on the toilet. It smells uh, like. What does it smell like? It smells like something. It smells like something in particular. It smells a bit like damp, but it also smells like something that reminds me of something, and I can't think of what it is. Anyway, it's probably, probably just smells like damp because it's been raining. Look at all the fruit. This is the wine I want. What wine? This is what I want. No, it isn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all their fresh vegetables with no plastic. Yeah, that's nice. Why haven't we got this in the UK? Look at it all. They're look at huge. all. Look at all the salad. They even have bulk beans. I'm just so impressed. In the UK, you would not come across that. You'd have to go to a very specific shop to be able to get bulk um, bags like that. We're back here again. Oh yeah. Everything looks different in the. Well, it's not sun, but it's not rain. We came out to go to that market. We tried to find the second one that she was referring to, and we couldn't find it anywhere. So we decided to go to Deterra because I think it's a chain. I thought it was just one well, I think restaurant. There's at least, I think there's more than one in the city. But we're going to one that's nearby. I may be mistaken. It's a buffet and I feel like we can just test it out and we can go there again when everyone else gets here. Because it was the thing that was the most recommended. Yeah. And we also will go to here afterwards, which is called Amarino. And they do ice cream and they have vegan ice cream in there. So, we're also passing the famous um, bookshop, what's it called? Lelo? Lelo, but we want to say that as well because everyone's probably Harry Potter fans, so it inspired J.K. Rowling apparently. Yeah, I'd never um, heard of it. 
I haven't either. Okay. Um, I think it's fake. Well, yeah, it looks very cool, but I feel like that's one of the things that people will want to do because every time we walk yeah, past yeah. it, it's busy, and that was recommended as well. So I'm starving, and then there is a supermarket that we'll go to after dinner because it's open till 10. Because Maybe I'll the, have more wine luck in there. And the supermarket we went to had loads of good stuff and um, we'll probably get some fruit and veg yeah. there. Not veg, because we won't be cooking for ourselves, <laughs> but we'll get some fruit. We just want some soy milk and some snacks. Um, soy milk, really, is all I want, and maybe some cereal or oats or something. Yes. So yeah, but we'll go, we're gonna go get a buffet now. I'm so hungry. Yeah. We had such a light lunch. I'm yeah, ready. all we've eaten today is an apple, some strawberries, like a handful of strawberries, and that um, pizza slice Alex had and I had yeah. a crepe and that's it, well, which is like nothing for I us. Am, I am on a diet. <laughs> Shut up. isn't quite ready yet, so let's wait 10 minutes. And everything's vegan, apparently. I mean, are we sure everything's vegan? I'm gonna have to figure out what's gluten-free there, but we'll see. difference from your plate <laughs> to what my plate was. What the heck, Alice? Where's the green? There. Why didn't you have any salad? I did. I had the stuff. Money, it's a buffet. Oh, you better have some salad, mate. Look at this colour. Do you like my beer glass? <laughs> I got told off by the buffet man. There was a... Everyone was going in one direction, so I just followed everyone. And he said, yeah, you're not supposed to go this way. You have to start the other way because it's soup, then starters, then mains. I was thinking, I felt like I was in school being told off by my, um, like, I don't know, dinner lady. So there's no signs. I was just following everyone else. Got a piece of broccoli this time. I just said that Alex has got more green, but the green is in the form of a pasta. And broccoli. Why did you get any salad? Because I don't like salad. I don't come to a buffet for salad. If Brussels sprouts on a toothpick isn't the most vegan thing I've ever seen, I don't know what is. Are you okay? You okay, hon? <laughs> What's this on your plate? Well, they brought out some new little wrap type things and I had to try it. And I put the, the new stew sauce on it as well. A little bit of seitan. Just before this, he was exploding with fullness and then they came out and he had to go get them. So I come back from the toilet and Alex has got more. What are you doing? Yeah, it's like pizza. It's the catcher. It smells like pizza. Yeah, it's like the catcher. Can you tell that I am eating gluten-free lime? I want to eat all this bread and lovely things so much. It's my first time traveling and being on holiday, gluten free, and it's not fun. First world problem, I know. Right, we just got out of the terror. Alex, are you very Ooh. full? <laughs> I could eat. Oh my gosh. Maybe not um, pudding, but... It was really funny, Alex. What did you spot on the um, menu board? <laughs> That made oh, us I had giggle. the times of the buffet, so it said the lunch, but or like the afternoon buffet was from 3:31 <laughs> until 6:59 <laughs> precisely. So, it, like you'd expect it to say from 3:30 to 7, just to make sure a minute was not yeah. crossed over. And we figured it was the guy who definitely him who was the manager because he was very, very strict about how people queued. Yeah, he was the one who told um, me off. Yeah. I think he definitely won't. And like two people sat down without speaking to him first. Yeah. And he told them to like come and talk no, to him. No, he literally him. said, like, no, no, you, you talk to me yeah. first. And every person who came in, he said, do you know how this works? I know. And when like one person was like, yes. And he's like, okay, all right, go on then. <laughs> go do it. I'm very full as well. It was very good. And now we're just going to walk back. I don't think we're gonna get ice cream. I think we'll save ice cream for tomorrow. We'll probably finish the vlog here though because we have 
um, vlogged a lot today. Yeah, we've had a, a good chat. And um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow or whenever we feel like vlogging next. So we're not going to vlog every day here. No, it depends on what we're up to. If we don't vlog every day, we'll like vlog clips and smoosh well, it to two days. With any luck, it will not rain again. Yeah. That'd be Fingers nice. crossed. Yeah. See you next time. Thanks.